We will discuss the life and career of one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, born Ferdinand Lewis Alcindor Jr., is a retired American professional basketball player who played 20 seasons in the National Basketball Association NBA. He is widely considered one of the greatest basketball players in history and has been inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame twice. In this video, we will be discussing his early life, his basketball career, and his post-retirement life. Let's get started. Early Life Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, born Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Jr. on April 16, 1947 in New York City, was the only child of Cora Lillian, a department store price checker, and Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Sr., a transit police officer and jazz musician. Growing up, Abdul Jabbar was exposed to the world of music through his father's passion for jazz, which would later influence his creative pursuits as a writer. At the age of nine, he started playing basketball, and his natural talent quickly propelled him to start on his high school team at Power Memorial Academy in New York City. Under his leadership, the team won three consecutive New York City Catholic Championships, solidifying his reputation as a prodigious young player. Abdul Jabbar's high school career was marked by numerous records and accolades. He was named the National High School Player of the Year, showcasing his exceptional skills on the court. This early success laid the foundation for his future achievements in college and professional basketball. College Career Abdul Jabbar's high school career was marked by numerous records and accolades. He was named the National High School Player of the Year, showcasing his exceptional skills on the court. This early success laid the foundation for his future achievements in college and professional basketball. After graduating from high school, Abdul Jabbar attended the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, on a basketball scholarship. He played for the UCLA Bruins basketball team under legendary coach John Wooden and led the team to three consecutive NCAA championships from 1967 to 1969. Abdul Jabbar was the team's star player and was named the NCAA Tournament's Most Outstanding Player in all three championship seasons. He also won the Naismith College Player of the Year Award in 1969 and was named a consensus All-American in all three of his college seasons. Following his college career, Abdul Jabbar was drafted with the first overall pick by the one-season-old Milwaukee Bucks franchise in the 1969 NBA Draft. He spent six seasons with the team leading them to their first NBA championship at age 24 in 1971. Abdul Jabbar took the Muslim name Kareem Abdul Jabbar during this period, and his trademark skyhook shot established him as one of the league's top scorers. In 1975, he was traded to the Los Angeles Lakers, with whom he played the final 14 seasons of his career. During this time, the team won five additional NBA championships. Abdul Jabbar's contributions were a key component in the Showtime era of Lakers basketball. Over his 20-year NBA career, his team succeeded in making the playoffs 18 times and got past the first round 14 times. His teams reached the NBA Finals on 10 occasions. Abdul Jabbar's achievements in the NBA are numerous and impressive. He was a record six-time NBA Most Valuable Player MVP, a 19-time NBA All-Star, a 15-time All-NBA team member and an 11-time NBA All-Defensive Team selection. He was a member of six NBA championship teams as a player and two more as an assistant coach, and was twice voted the NBA Finals MVP. He was named to three NBA anniversary teams, 35th, 50th, and 75th. Widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time, he was called the greatest basketball player of all time by Pat Riley, Isa Thomas, and Julius Serving. Abdul Jabbar broke the NBA's career scoring record in 1984 with 38,387 points and held it until LeBron James surpassed him in 2023. He remains the all-time leader in minutes played in field goals made. He ranks second in career points in field goal attempts and is third all-time in both total rebounds and block shots. In addition to his basketball achievements, Abdul Jabbar has been an actor, a basketball coach, a best-selling author, and a martial artist, having trained in Jeet Kune Do under Bruce Lee and appeared in his film. He has also been a vocal advocate for social justice and has been recognized for his contributions to the field. The Kareem Abdul Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award was established in 2021 to honor NBA players who uphold the values of equality, respect, and inclusion. Abdul Jabbar's legacy extends beyond his impressive basketball career. 
He has inspired generations of basketball players and fans alike, and his commitment to social justice has made a lasting impact on society. NBA Career In 1969, Abdul Jabbar was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks as the first overall pick in the NBA draft. In his rookie season, he averaged 28.8 points per game and 14.5 rebounds per game and was named the NBA Rookie of the Year. Abdul Jabbar continued to dominate in the NBA and was a six-time NBA Most Valuable Player MVP, and a two-time NBA Finals MVP. He led his teams to six NBA championships and was a 19-time NBA All-Star. Abdul Jabbar was known for his signature move, the skyhook, which he used to great effect throughout his career. He retired from the NBA in 1989 as the league's all-time leading scorer with 38,387 points. Post-Retirement Life After retiring from basketball, Abdul Jabbar remained involved in the sport as a coach and mentor. He also pursued other interests, including acting and writing. He has appeared in several movies and TV shows, including Airplane and Game of Death. Abdul Jabbar has also written several books, including his autobiography, Giant Steps, and a novel, My Croft Holmes. He has been an outspoken advocate for social justice and civil rights, and has been involved in various charitable organizations, including the Skyhook Foundation, which he founded to help underprivileged children learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Legacy Kareem Abdul Jabbar's legacy in the NBA is unparalleled. He is widely considered as one of the greatest basketball players of all time, and has been inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame twice once as an individual and once as a member of the 1992 United States men's Olympic basketball team. His impact on the sport is still felt today, and his signature move, the skyhook, is still used by players around the world. Abdul Jabbar's contributions to society and his advocacy for social justice and civil rights have also earned him praise and recognition outside of the basketball world. In conclusion, Kareem Abdul Jabbar is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. His impact on the sport is still felt today, and his legacy as a player, coach, and mentor is unparalleled. Abdul Jabbar's contributions to society and his advocacy for social justice and civil rights have also earned him praise and recognition outside of the basketball world. We hope you enjoyed learning more about this basketball legend, and we look forward to bringing you more sports content in the future. Thank you for watching our video on the life and career of Kareem Abdul Jabbar. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more biographies and sports content. Let us know in the comments which athlete you would like us to cover next. Thank you for watching.